So as some of you may or may not know, but I have a new setup when doing my first reaction to a particular artist or group. I'll do my research before I start the video. And because this is my first reaction to David Bowie, um, you know, I had to do that. So I found out he has sold 100 million records worldwide, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, widely regarded as, um, you know, one of the pioneers of visual representation in music videos. Um, he has multiple, um, not personalities and not personas. Um, why am I blinking? Why am I blinking? Alter ego? Is that a good way to describe it? They, they they talked about how he has various styles and throughout the years he's he's kind of gone through different styles and and different innovations. So I'm really excited to hear and learn more about the great David Bowie. I've heard his name in passing, but I've I've never, you know what I mean. I've never really uh, sat and listened to his music, you know, directly, and you know, learn more about him. So. Um, they talked about how most of his run, his great, great big run is in the 70s, but uh, he, he was active for a long time. Um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 96, I believe I read. Um, a pillar, a pillar in rock and roll, and I'm really excited to hear and learn more about him. Our first reaction is Space Oddity. Um... I have no idea what that means or what that could mean. So that's good. We go into this on a blank sheet of paper and, and a fresh mind. Um, it's the official music video. So I'm excited. They said his visual representations, both his style and his videos are, you know, what makes him so world renowned. So I'm really ex uh, excited to hear and see this, man. David Bowie, Space Oddity, First Reaction, Official Introduction. We begin our journey. Let's go. Ground control to Major Tom Ground control to Major Tom Take your protein pills and put your helmet on Ground control to Major Tom Seven Sing countdown engines on three two check ignition and may God's love be with you. Far above the world 
yo, everything about this is crazy, for one. So, yeah, let's talk about his style. 70s. So, I'm going to assume he is very far beyond his time. Now, when you see a lot of pop stars, rock stars today, like the more makeup, flashy hair, uh, sequins, shirt, like that's almost normal. I would assume this was pretty abnormal in the early 1970s. I would assume, right? I would assume. Um, and I'm trying to figure out who he reminds me of. He reminds me of a lot of people. A lot of people, again, in modern music today, look exactly like this. So the fact that he was doing this in the 70s, incredible. The music itself, very innovative. It, it, sound, it doesn't sound like anything that I've heard from any other band or artist from the 70s. Like the violins, the orchestra. I, I'm going to assume that's an orchestra in the back. I, I can really make out the violins, but the whole orchestra sound in the back, phenomenal. I love his playing of the acoustic guitar um, and whatever that whoever was just on the drums for that little on the cymbals. That was fire. And the music video is also very appealing. I can't like it's so dark. And like so I'm getting the impression that we're going for like a sad theme, but the lyrics actually sound uplifting. Um, in a in a in a oh, not a weird way, but like it, it's just so everything about this is complex. Nothing is straightforward. Nothing. His style, what he's trying to give me, the music, everything. It's a lot going on, but it's fun to hear and watch. That's, that's fire. That's fire. All those sounds that was playing at the end, that was fire.
Oh man, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to find the, uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Space Oddity was released on July 11th, 1969 by Phillips Records. I noticed that, uh, I noticed that too. He was signed to a lot of labels, a lot of labels. Damn near all of them. Uh, produced by Gus Dungeon, Dungeon and recorded at Trident Studios in London. It is a tale about a fictional astronaut named Major Tom. Its title and subject matter were, were inspired uh, partly by 2001 A Space Odyssey and Bowie's feelings of alienation at the point at that point in his career. One of the most musically complex songs he had written up to that point, it represented a change from the music hall influenced sound of his debut to a sound akin to psychedelic folk and, folk and, 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 and inspired by the Bee Gees. Hmm. Now, y'all know we had a very fun journey, which I still don't think I finished, by the way, my BG's uh, journey. Uh, at least nothing that I heard really from this reminded me of the BG's. Yeah, I, I don't see the correlation, but that's that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Rush released as a single to capitalize on the Apollo 11 moon landing. It received critical uh, praise and was used by the BBC as background music during its coverage of the event. Oh, so this was like, oh, wow. Okay, so this was just right on time. I know this is like, was probably the biggest song ever for a long time. It initially sold poorly, but soon reached number five in the UK, becoming Bowie's first and only chart hit for another three years. Oh, wow. A range of artists have covered Space Oddity, used in a lot of different movies. After a string of unsuccessful singles, David released his Music Hall influenced self titled debut studio album through Darum Records in 1967. The album was a commercial failure and did little to gain Bowie notice, becoming his least rele last release for two years. Around this time, Bowie acquired a new manager, Kenneth Pitt. Uh, Bowie began a romantic relationship with dancer Hermione Farthingale, which lasted only a year. He formed a group called The Feathers. Hmm. By the end of 1968, Bowie had begun to feel had begun to feel alienation from his career. Hmm. With this in mind, Bowie wrote Space Oddity, a tale about a fictional astronaut named Major Tom, the first of Bowie's famous characters. Hmm. One of the first people to hear the song was Calvin Mark Lee, the head of A&R at Mercury Records in London, who considered the song otherworldly and knew it was Bowie's ticket to be signed by the label. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know how you hear this song and think anything different. I mean, I, I've yet, still, we are in 2023. I still don't think I've heard any song quite like this before. And this is 1972. No, I'm sorry, 1969. I'm sorry. Like, that's crazy. Wow, so it, it, it I think I, I did read that. It didn't even reach the Hot 100 when it initially came out, but by 1973, um, it charted at number 15 in the States. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to hear and learn more about this guy. Again, his style, like, is by far one of the more creative, one of the more creative music videos that I've seen from any artist or group from the 70s. You know, a lot of 70s music videos were pretty standard, had like a, a green screen background and dudes was just, you know, lip syncing the words or, um, you know, it was a standard stage performance music video. This is definitely the first way I've, I've seen like just the imagery and just it, it didn't seem like there were too many special effects. But, you know, just how they would cut around between the, 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 uh, um, for one, the, what, what, what do they call it? The, um, vital sign thing across the screen and just the, the, the use of lighting and how he was lit the whole music video, what he was wearing, um, is definitely the first of anything that I've seen like it from, from the seventies reactions that I've done. Um, he, he was definitely ahead of his time. So I can't wait to hear and learn more about this guy. This guy, I, I mean, I haven't been this invested in an artist on the first reaction in a long time. Um, while I feel like I've learned so much today, I still feel like I've learned nothing. Like, I'm so excited to hear and learn more about this guy, for real. So, y'all let me know what else to react to from David Bowie. Um, God rest his soul. I think I've kind of been talking about him as if he was alive. I, I, do, I did read that he, he passed away 2016, so this, this is rather recent. Um, so, but in regards to his legacy and his music... I, I can't wait to hear and learn more about it. So y'all let me know what else I need to check out. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time with David Bowie. Peace.